This is a supine practice where we're lying down and you might want to use a strap. If you're feeling a little sluggish in the afternoon and not ready for a full yoga practice or if you're just getting out of bed and uh, just need to do some movement before you start your daily activities, this is a perfect practice for you. We'll start lying down on our back with your knees bent. As you begin the practice, take your hands to the hip points and allow the belly to lift toward the ceiling. And now draw from the navel back to the spine. Just get a little pelvic movement. Lift your navel up and draw your waistline back. Do that three more times. On the in-breath, you lift the belly. On the exhale breath, you draw in, draw the navel toward the mat. Breathe in very freely and naturally. And in-breath through the nose. And out-breath through the nose. Now come to what feels like the center of those movements where you have a nice natural curve in the spine. Take your hands to your knees. Press your knees toward the mat. So really press down strong with the arms. Now activate your feet by spreading your toes. And as you press your hands down on the kneecaps, you're pressing the thigh bones down See if you can get a little lift in the belly. Uh, the shoulder blades come back. You press the knees away from your face. So you start to feel how the back body begins to become strong as you pull the knees toward your heart, press the knees down, but yet the legs are doing actions to push the knees away from the chest. Now, keeping all of those actions, I know that's not easy. You're doing a lot of actions that look so stable. But see if you can just create a little bit more massaging action here by moving side to side. So your glutes get a little bit of tender loving care here. You just... Uh, allow a nice softness here to move as you move side to side. Now press your feet down but see if you can keep that curve that you you got to strengthen the low back. Take your right ankle to the outer left knee. Take both hands to the top of the right thigh and just press the thigh back to just open the hip a little bit more, keep your right toes very active, and keep the right ankle off of the knee, just outside of the knee. Release your right foot down, do that with the left, take the left ankle to the outside of the right knee, take your hands just at the top of the thigh, right at the pant leg crease, and see if you can just urge the top of the thigh to just move away from your chest just getting a nice opening here of the hip area. Release your left foot down, have your feet as wide apart as your mat is, and just draw your knees over to the right side, not too deep. Come back to the center, draw your knees over to the left. We'll do that two more times. Lift your knees up and take them to the right. Lift the knees up and take them to the left. One more time, reaching over to the right. Lift up, reach to the left. And lift your knees up. If you've got the strap, you might want to grab it. If you don't have a strap, you can use a towel or you can just improvise. Take your strap around your right foot, hold onto the strap in both hands, bend your right knee and just draw the right knee to the outer ribs. 
Now reach the right leg up and do that again. Bend the right knee, reach it straight up, activate the foot and the entire leg by keeping the toes spread as you bend your right knee and reach it up. Now bend your right knee and straighten your left leg. See if you can get the left thigh to press down. So one way to do that is just to take your left hand and urge the left thigh down a little bit more as you hold the strap with your right hand or some of you can hold your foot or hold your shin. Now release. Take your strap now around your left foot. Bend your left knee. With your right foot planted with both hands on the strap, Draw the knee down, reach the foot up, just to wake up the hip on the left side. Do some slow and easy movements here. Just drawing down before reaching up and draw down before extending. And now let's hold on to the strap with one hand or the shin as you draw down. See about reaching your right leg out and just urge the right thigh to draw down a little bit with a little pressure with your right hand as you keep the left thigh moving just a little bit closer to your outer ribs. And as you're ready, you can bend both knees and plant your feet you can take the strap to the side. Once again, take the right ankle to the outer left knee. This time, draw the left thigh in toward your face and interlace your fingers behind the left thigh. And if that doesn't work for you, just grab your strap and take it behind the thigh. Now, just as you did, with both hands drawing the right thigh back before. See if the right elbow can assist in drawing the right thigh just a little bit further away from your right ribs. Keep this nice action. Maybe you can even add some movement, just moving side to side as you keep a strong action here of moving the right thigh just a little further from your right ribs. And as you're ready, you can release your right foot down, release your left foot down, and just pause for a moment. And as you pause, can you press your elbows down, lift your chest, and lift your pelvis up so that you get this nice fullness in the front side of the body. Keep a nice lift of the pelvis, press your head back, keep your shoulders pressing back. Release your pelvis down. Now take your left ankle to the outer right knee. Draw the right thigh in. Maybe you can interlace your fingers. Maybe you want to use something else to pull the right thigh in. As you draw the left thigh away from the left ribs, keep a nice strong action with the left elbow pressing the thigh back. Maybe even do some movement, rocking side to side. Nice massaging action, but keep your legs active. Spread your toes to tone the muscles of the legs. And release your feet down. Once again, lift your pelvis up to come to a bridge pose. Get the front body nice and long and slowly release your pelvis down. Extend your legs out. Close your eyes. Receive a nice in-breath through the nose. A long out breath through the nose. Notice how heavy the legs feel 
how rooted the pelvis is. Just allow that to help you settle in and give yourself a few moments to just assimilate the actions that you did. You breathe in deep. You breathe out long. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Now breathe very free and naturally. Enjoy this time of rejuvenation and restoration. Thank you for joining me in the practice. Namaste.